In this video, we're going to start working on our blender where we model up the door and just basically make an opening and closing animation for it. So we're going to cover the door modeling, which is it's just going to be pretty much a rectangle. Then we're going to create the armature, animate it, and bring that all into Unreal Engine. Now, first thing we want to do is actually set up our scene. So I'm going to press A and delete everything. Drag the timeline down. Come over here to Scene Properties, go to Units. Set the unit scale to 0.01. Zoom out some, press in, come over here to view, change our end to 100 so that way we still have our grid in full view. Come up to, it's so gonna show me, output properties, set the frame rate to 30. Now we just wanna bring in our mannequin. So we're gonna go to file, import, FPX. I already have mine right here. But if you don't, what you can do is you can go to your Unreal Engine Mannequin, Character, Mesh, find the skeletal mesh of the mannequin, right click, Accept Actions, and Export, hit Save, uncheck Level of Detail, and call it a day. Then you just bring it right back in like I just did, and I want to go ahead and actually delete my armature, and whatever the heck that is, so I just have just the mesh. Now I'm going to move it uh, back a little bit on the Y axis so it's out of the way of the door. I'm going to Shift A, create a mesh, make it a cube. And I'm going to drag it up to at the very top and drag it over to the right so the center corner, well, center edge is right there in the center of the world. Now I'm going to press F3, go to Origin to 3D Cursor. And if you don't already have, I bound that to Quick Favorites, so you can right click, add to Quick Favorites. So now it's set right there. So when I rotate it, we're good to go like that. I want to scale it down on the Y. I'm going to do like 0 0.1 meters. Make it a little taller on the 2, so 2.2. Or on the Z axis, I mean. And let's bring you over. Drag the hands over. And we're about there. So let's make you. We'll make you two meter or 1.2 meter dang it 1.2 meters wide and that's big enough to where we can fit through it no problem so i'm going to control a and apply the scale and we want to make our armature so i'm going to actually rename this to door real quick we're going to shift a go to armature can't really see it because of how small it is go to edit mode select the top little ball and scale it up on the z axis I'm going to bring it, rotate it over by 90, so we're like this. Now, I'm going to go over to, uh, what is this, Object Data Properties, Viewport Display, and check in front. Click our door, click the armature, Control P, add with automatic weights. So now I want to go into pose mode, it takes the whole door around with it, and we are ready to animate. So I'm going to go ahead and export this out real quick. I'm going to click the door, click the armature, file, export, FBX. I'm going to name it a uh, door tutorial, or tut in this case. Uh, I already have a preset, so just follow along. Selected objects, armature, mesh, go to geometry, smoothing to face, apply modifiers, even though we don't have any, armature, check only deform bones, uncheck add leaf bones, and uncheck bake animation. Export it out. I'm going to bring it into our door folder. Import. And here we go. We are good to go. We have our bone that does yada yada yada. And we are ready. So now let's animate. Click our bone, go to pose mode. I'm going to go down here where my mouse changes. Right click, horizontal split. Over to dope sheet, action editor. Hit new. Set it as fake user. And let's name it A underscore door underscore open. And let's just press I, location, rotation, insert a keyframe. I want to set it to only 15 frames in length, because I already know that's what I want. And now I'm going to take it, I'm going to rotate it by 90 degrees, so it opens, well, go to frame 15 first, rotate it by 90 degrees, press I, and insert location and rotation. We're going to go ahead and create a new action, name it 
door underscore close instead of open. Then we replace these, so frame 15 goes to frame 1, and frame 1 goes to frame 15. So now it's reversed, so it closes. And we're good. Let's save this one real quick. Go to tutorial, just the whole blend, and check fake user. Now let's export it. So with just the armature selected, file export FBX, let's give it a name of A underscore door underscore close. So it follows along with our Blender action, so down here. Do another preset for animations. The only difference is you check Bake Animation and for Start and End keyframes. And just export. Actually, I'm going to do this for both real quick, so I'm going to switch over to Door Open. Same thing, export it out, just rename it to Open. Go to Unreal Engine, Import, select both animations, Make sure the skeleton that we just created is selected, so our door tutorial skeleton, and import all. Now we have our open and close animations. So we are good to go there. So what we can do is actually open up our, bl our door blueprint and just start plugging everything in. So for our door mesh, let's get rid of our old mannequin and select our door. Now we have our, up here we can have our open animation. So that's a door open and close animation, so A door close, compile, save, and here we have it. We'll go ahead and drag this a little bit better in the way, like so, and there's our door. So that's really all we're going to do in this video. We have our crappy collision, so we're going to actually fix that because as you can see we're far away from the door and it's kind of in a sphere. So that's because of our physics asset. So we don't really have um collision meshes, so to speak, in this case. We can add custom meshes to use for our collision, but in this case we have, because we're using our physics asset, well, granted you can do it in the physics asset is what I mean, but we're going to use a primitive shape, so we're going to delete that guy right there, go to options, show all bones, click our roof bone, we're going to right click, add a shape, and we're going to add a box. Press uh, R to scale it. We're going to scale it up a good ways and just kind of make it cover the whole box. Kind of like so. And thickness wise, we'll just go a tiny bit thicker. There we go. So we're going to save, and there's our collision. So now, when we walk into it, we can walk right up and it's in the shape of a box. We no longer have the sphere act acting as our collision. So we can file, save all, and we have everything we need for our door. So in the next video, we're going to actually make it functional. We're going to make it open and close when we want to. And then in the video after that, we're going to make it multiplayer ready. And then we're going to clean it up and work with interfaces. So that way we can act make it kind of very we can make a very more a very modular system well not modular system but a very useful system that's going to be controlled kind of by interfaces so that way we can kind of carry the interface around and we don't have to do multiple checks or multiple casts to be able to use an item instead we just use and see if okay does this actor implement this interface if it does we call the function we want on it so that'll be explained a little bit more in depth when we actually get to it but for now, that's going to be it. And my right button keeps letting go. So I will see you in the next video. If you like what I'm doing and you want to help support me, you can find a link to my Patreon down in the description. And if you have any questions or anything like that, feel free to join my Discord down below. And a key thing that I just forgot to mention is the Patrons that are $10 and over receive access to the course where we create Team Deathmatch in C++ from scratch that is multiplayer ready, along with a bunch of other features like a weapon customizer and that kind of thing. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video.